Hey everyone, Tom Trosity here, and welcome back to Just an Update. I uh, just figured to go over what's been going on with me, and what's going on with things here and at Twitch. So, to put it in perspective, obviously I've been doing a recording once a week, and I've been doing a stream once a week. The recording has been Seven Days to Die. I'm going through the process of playing through the game, and making it to Blood, Blood Moon Horde Night, which is the next video and then for streaming on twitch.tv slash tom trusty with the eye i've been doing various games glover 64 sonic mania stellar interface monstrum lethal company i've been doing a lot of different games there even hell divers 2 as an example if you haven't seen any of this content i do have a playlist down below on my channel wherever you can find it of all my streams I've been doing on Twitch. So it's pretty much updated on the weekend. Weekends have been my typical time to sit down and record. I could do it throughout the week. The problem is it's fatigue. With the new job I'm working, which is preloading at UPS, it does drain a bit out of me for the early morning. And I could still do my part-time job that was my full-time job a while ago at Hannaford which I do like four or five hours. So I do have like that in-between time between the two jobs where I relax and recover. And then when I get home at night, I don't have much time in between to do anything else because I need to eat and then go to bed because next day I got to go back in and do preloading. So that's typically how that works throughout the week. So it doesn't give me a whole lot of time to film or record or stream really so that's why content has been coming out on weekends and maybe that way for the foreseeable future we'll find out as time goes on so trying to think of other games to do i just picked up actually a game today that i've been wanting to play gunstar superheroes for the game boy advance now i do have the dock and the analog pocket which i'll be using to play the game on on stream or on recording and i think i'm gonna do both because i know in that version you get to play two characters which you do in the original game as well but the difference is that there are two different characters overall like one's male one's a female i think the male's blue the female's red so i think on twitch i'll be doing blues playthrough and then on youtube i'll do reds playthrough they're pretty much similar stories as far as I understood, but I have yet to play the game. Like, I, pl I pl sort of played it years and years ago, but I never owned a game. Like, I had a friend who had a copy that I, I tried. So, and the game's almost 20 years old, but I love the original to death. So, I figured, well, let's actually play the quote-unquote uh, sequel or uh, not a reboot. Well, I guess it is kind of a reboot. But like a reimagination of the first game, essentially. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. On top of that, I finally got my car. So, I am able to drive again, which does give me slightly more time to myself to prep for work, etc. And I'm not straining my feet and putting more physical work on me. So, I'm glad I have a car again. Because that whole ordeal was just rough from start to finish. I don't recommend it. I really don't recommend that experience, but I went through it, I survived it, and we move on. So, but that's why last Saturday I wasn't able to do my streaming and recording. I thankfully got something set up just in the nick of time to do it. So, but on top of me getting the car, I also got sick. So, I don't know if I got it at the place where I got the car. Or if I picked it up when I was working at one of my jobs. It's a stupid head cold that's going around. And right now I'm mostly drained. But my ears are shitty. I don't know what's going on in my ears. My left ear right now is having the euation tube dysfunction. I guess that's what it's called. I have no idea. Uh, but basically it's the inner ear and the outer ear not uh, aligned. Like, I have a concave ear or some kind. I don't know. I am I just, you know, figured my ears weren't that bad. Considering 
pretty much most of my life, other than when I was a kid, when I would get ear infections and earaches, had pretty good ears, even when I got sick. I'm in my 30s now, I'm just having ear trouble suddenly, so I, I don't know, it's weird. But anyways, I'm going for that right now, so my hearing's a little uh, displaced at the moment. So, if I'm going to record, uh, <laughs> hopefully I can still hear pretty good. So, but going forward, recording-wise, I do want to try to finish the last Blood Moon Night for Seven Days to Die. And then I'll switch it up by taking a break from that, because the Blood Moon Horde might be difficult. I'm playing a version separate from the one I have on YouTube, and I just went through that Blood Moon Horde, and it wasn't terrible, but I also have a better setup than what I have on YouTube. So, should be interesting either way. Hopefully I don't die in that one, even though I died already. So, I had three lives figured out. But then going forward, I'll figure out something I want to record for next Saturday. And as for streaming, still try to get creative with that. I mean, there are games I do want to go back to. Like, I was playing Super Mario Vance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3 on stream, which was fun. I may want to do a Pokemon stream. I know that sounds... It's not weird, because I haven't... I'm, I never have played a Pokemon game on my YouTube channel, actually. So, and I never streamed one. So, it'd be a first for me overall. But the idea I want to do, and I haven't been able to find it on YouTube, other than the typical Nuzlocke uh, shenanigans. I have the idea or the interest of just taking a starter from one of the generations and putting it into a generation that's not supposed to be in. So, like, for example, Gen 3, you have Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Leaf, Green, Leaf Green. Take the starters from Hoenn and just put them into Kanto. And just run through, uh, essentially just a story playthrough of the Kanto games with you know, like a Mudkip, or a Trico, or a Torchic. Or maybe have a whole Hoenn team in the Kanto, and then vice versa. So, I mean, you can also do that with Gen 4 Gen 2, because of the remakes there. And then the only one I could think of you could do right off the bat, I guess, is like the current Gens with Gen 8 and 9. But otherwise, right... I mean, you could do Gen 5 as well with Gen 4, Gen 2, but it's a little more tricky. Oh, no, wait, there's Gen... Oh, no, that's right, there's Gen 6 with uh, the remakes of Gen 3. So, there's some ways to go about it. I do have a 3DS that has a modded port. You guys have seen my Animal Crossing videos of the New Leaf game that I've done that before. It's been a while, I don't know if the port works, and I have not tested it on my new PC, so I have no idea if it's functional. But if it is functional, I wouldn't mind modding that 3DS, and then just doing capture gameplay for that. So, uh, would that be a stream thing? Yeah, it's possible. But that's the idea I want to do for streaming, at least whether it comes to Pokemon, it comes to that, and then just finishing up some games that I'm almost through, like Glover 64, the Steam port. Hot mess of a game, or at least a hot mess of a port, because the game is fun, but the port itself is just oodles and canoodles of just what the hell. I've had some some interesting stuff, but if you haven't seen, like I said, check out my streams. It, I've had some interesting times with Glover 64, so that's a game I want to finish up, Sonic Mania I want to finish up, at least I'm playing the Sonic story. I mean, I could do more in Sonic Mania, but that was just for fun. There are games that I've been having on pause for a while that I've been wanting to do since even before me coming back. Like, even when I had it in 2016. Mother Russia Bleeds, I have that game I want to try. Inscription I just got recently. I want to try that as well. So, things are on the pipeline. It's just a matter of me getting myself in a routine pattern on the weekends to record, to film, and then also stream. This will vary because, like I said, if I have weekends off, I could be doing something. Like I could be doing things with my friends. I could be doing extra money making Instacart. Possibilities are out there for that stuff, too. But if it does happen, like if I have something that does come up, I will let you know in one way or another. Whether a community post in YouTube, a small video, and maybe a small stream real quick on Twitch. Who knows? So... Speaking of streaming, I've been streaming a lot more on Twitch, and I know I used to do YouTube streaming, but I've been enjoying Twitch streaming a little bit more than I thought. 
and it's not to say I will never YouTube stream again. I just prefer Twitch right now in terms of just the streaming format and me just getting used to it. If you haven't seen my streams, again, I know, this is the third time I'm saying it to you. I've been trying to figure out my own format for that platform as well. I figured out my gaming, uh, my viewing for the games. If I do it, just a general chit-chat with people in the, the chat room or the chat box or whatever. I have that figured out. And there's a concept I want to do, but I'm trying to figure out how to go about it. I started this last night. I don't know if there's a way to do it. With I'm trying to figure out if I could do this with a widget on stream elements. So I've taken the embedded link of a YouTube video and tried to put it into a widget for Twitch. It hasn't worked. It's been kind of broken. I've been trying to figure out how to get it to work. I mean, the alternative would be just playing a video off my desktop as a basically I want to do like a pre-stream setup. So like, you know, hey, I'm going to start streaming here in the next 10 minutes. Here's something you could do. Most streamers would do with music. I don't blame them. Music's easy. You know, you don't have to do anything. You just have a music widget somewhere with the description of the song uh, now playing, blah, blah, blah. Stream starting soon, blah, 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 with a loading bar, whatever the case may be. That's a fine concept. I get that. But I want to take something like my YouTube videos and then just be able to advertise that to my Twitch followers. It's like a simultaneous kind of thing. Where I could get viewership that way from YouTube through Twitch. I know it's a... I don't know if it's possible. It may not be possible. But here's the concept that I have figured out right now. I need to adjust the image. Uh, placement's not 100% final yet. But it's something I want to try to do. I'm trying to evolve things on Twitch. So... Which could translate to YouTube down the road. But I want to figure this out first on Twitch and then go from there. So. Yeah. So this is the general update. What's been going on with me. How's things going this year so far. Are we still on track? What I pretty much set myself up to do for January. And I think so. I've been doing constant updates and uploads through youtube and twitch the only thing i don't know right now is tiktok like tiktok i've done some videos recently i haven't done anything in like over a week probably now but i've been trying to still do that and youtube shorts so i figured out two of my pillars the third one i'm still gotta get on board with and get that going but it's coming along in some manner and i'll have it nailed down soon enough i think so but anyways, that's all I want to tell you. Thank you for watching, thank you for viewing, and thank you for subscribing, and just join what I've been putting out there, basically. I'm just doing this for fun, like I said. So, check out my channel. Got a lot of playlists there right now. Got some videos that have been coming up with. I have my vlog, uh, VODs on YouTube. So any of the Twitch streams you don't see on Twitch, they are going to YouTube. And if you want to see me live, like I said, just check out my Twitch channel. So, I'm going to be still streaming Saturdays between 5 to 8 p.m. That's where I'm aiming for still. And expect uploads for recordings, hopefully, either on Saturdays or on Sundays. So, that's the game plan right now. But, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. So, yeah, let's keep going. All right? All right.